what's up y'all i don't even know why i'm doing this video i don't know where this video will end up at but i have to get this out of me or else i'm going to explode i have been watching season three of the circle and i have never seen a more microcosmic depiction of the socio-political dynamics inside of a culture of white supremacist delusion in the entirety of my life more accurate than this fucking television show. And it's making my head explode and it is so endemic of the way in which each and every sort of character in that system operates within that system. So, just to give you all a real quick rundown, there are, the show starts off with a black girl, a black guy, a, a Southeast Asian woman with disabilities, an older white woman, like above 50, older than 50 years old white woman, a gay virgin, a white gay guy catfishing as a white lesbian, a white guy who's like pretending to be himself but lying and saying he's a drummer and he's actually just like a tech nerd and then um uh there's one more person who was in the oh and then like a white girl who's like using her profile but she's catfishing as because it's her and her sister in the thing so i want you to immediately peep game that every white person in this show is lying except for the older white woman she's the only one who's telling the truth about who she is everybody else is lying and then all of the other marginal people from marginalized identities are also telling the truth about themselves right the the so they're all telling the truth about themselves as well so immediately of course there always ends up being this side of like girl guy alliance but because there's, you know, some of the girls are catfishes, um, they're, they end up not sort of in the dime, you know, like it just never sticks. But here's what, how it all ends up playing out. There, all the white people who end up staying on the show are catfishing fucking liars. The black girl who is the most authentic, honest, genuine, and popular, right? All the catfish start gunning for her. All the white people start gunning for this black girl, trying to get her off the show. There's one white guy, the like the cis sh straight white man formulates an alliance with all the other lying white people who are not cis and straight, but are definitely aligning themselves with cis straight uh maleness in terms of the position positionality of power right to get rid of the black girl that's they're all in the allegiance to try to get rid of the black girl right instead of being they, they can't seem they don't they don't get rid of the black girl because she's really that strong of a player so instead they get rid of the black guy who loved the black girl right like legitimately was like really into her but still had alliances with this straight white man who's only lied, like who's only lied the entire show has done nothing but lie. And these white people have done nothing but lie the entire show. And yet this black man is given a special power, right? To like help boost popularity. He knows that there are people gunning for this black girl who he professes to love on the show. And he gives the special power to who? The straight white man. So then he leaves. Another black man comes on the show. Right? Immediately he makes an alliance with the black girl. Okay? That's my sis. I got her. She's like, look, here's our alliance. It's this person. This person. It's me. It's Daniel. It's Rux. It's me. It's the gay virgin boy. It's the Southeast Asian woman with disabilities. It's, you know, like we need to be the alliance against, you know, what appears to be the white guy and two pretty white girls, but it's actually 
you know, a lesbian white girl and a gay white man both pretending to be the lesbian white girls pretending to be a pretty straight girl or a pretty bi girl and the gay white man is pretending to be a lesbian white girl and they're on the team with oh there's another white girl who's pretending to be a straight white man so just get into the dishonesty and complete lying and then like targeted focus at destroying the black woman. And then every time a black man gets power in the group, he cedes it to the white man. Every single time a black man is given power inside of this organizational structure, he ends up ceding it to the white man. When I tell you that, so, that I'm so enraged watching this show. I'm so enraged watching, first of all, the way that then, oh, mind you, the the white lesbian who's pretending to be our pretty thin, blonde, straight sister or bi sister, or whatever, um, finally comes to an, a moment of epiphany after being called out for being a catfish. And then DMs the black woman who she's made no efforts to fucking get to know the entirety of the show and is now like, um, you know, I let my, I let, you know, I, I, I let this game change me. And, you know, I just wanted to message you and tell you, you know, that I'm sorry, like you're amazing. And I really, you know, wish that I would have, uh, you know, just gotten to know you from the beginning. And I was like, if this isn't some peak like white woman tear shit I mean it's like they took every single sociological trope of the last five years and put it in embodied in characters on the circle now this episode that I just finished watching the one black man who is at the alliance between him and the gay white virgin boy and the black woman and a new nerdy 6'2 sort of racially ambiguous girl he gets in the fucking room with the white the lead like leader of the white liars that's what I start calling them gets in the room with the leader of the white liars and lets him convince him to get rid of his own allegiance and ends up getting rid of the gay, the gay, uh, the gay white boy who was on his allegiance. So the white dude ends up giving up nobody on his allegiance and gets the black dude to once again, betray his allegiance and alliance to the black woman. He says he loves and to his collective team to do what this white man just said, suggested he should do. But peep, game even worse so the white gay boy who gets betrayed by this black guy doesn't because you have the opportunity to go and see one of the players when you before you leave when you're blocked he doesn't go to the black guy to confront him about why he voted him off the white boy doesn't go to the black woman who has coordinated his alliance and has saved his ass Multiple times in the room. He goes to the white girl on the other team and decides after the game to make an allegiance with her. If I can't, I don't know what else to say about how conniving, how untrustworthy the energy of whiteness is. In anybody who is in allegiance to the energy of whiteness, which includes black men, which includes gay boys, like literally rather than making an allegiance, using your position to strengthen the people that you do mess with in the team and get rid of, even get rid of the guy who got rid of you, right? Cool. 
but like to strengthen the allegiance to the people who you already had an allegiance with. You just betray the whole thing and go straight to the other side of white people. The, I was like, and this is why, this is why we can't get free, y'all. Because these po politics, these inclinations um, that involve just one, the inclination to lie and connive and do anything to get what you want. And then to make all kinds of stories up in your head that like validate why you're making that choice. Uh, and then to continue to just side with the most basic of whiteness. Like basically the end of the show is a bunch of people siding with the most basic versions of whiteness. It's fucking repulsive. I am so fucking outraged because now because he's gone and made this gay white boy has gone and made this allegiance with the bra from the other team. And because the black dude uh, fucked up his allegiance, they now that that allegiance is broken and that other team is gunning for this black woman because she is the one who should win this game. And now she's going to lose because her allegiance fell because each and every one of them fell to whiteness. Each and every one. And that's why black women, we just got to save ourselves. Because these hoes ain't loyal. And that's that on that. <laughs> the circle done pissed me off, y'all. I needed to say that. Bye.